I always tell my students that I live in downtown Brookings, and the last place I lived that was this urban was Brooklyn. And I tell the, the small town students that they actually know more about living in urban life than those of us who grew up in these big windy street suburbs. That there's a connection to the people around you, there's a connection to the fabric. You know where justice is served, you know everybody at school, you know who the dry cleaner is. I knew that in Brooklyn and I know that in Brookings. Architecture's new here at SDSU, and what's distinct or, or remarkable about the program is that um, we're very much about learning by doing and very much about hands-on learning, very haptic. It's not that it's a trade sort of learning, but it's exploring the idea through the act of doing it rather than thinking it through and then acting on it. What people are finding with architecture here on campus is that They'll see us out doing something and we'll say, what are you doing? And we'll say, we'll, we'll let you know when we're done. The kind of spirit of the university very well dovetails into what we do. You have the people like microbiology and dairy science out there. I just always tell people this is the place they invented the Briggs and Stratton engine and cookies and cream ice cream and all these things that are actual real things. And we love things. We love, architects love material, physical stuff. SDSU sells itself once I get them here and they see the activity and the, the work going on. We're working on a project now with the city of Mobridge, which is in the far north central part of the state. It's called Mobridge because it was the bridge over the Missouri. It was the only bridge over the Missouri north of Omaha. So all the trains came to that spot. And at Mobridge, there's a large marshalling yard and roundhouses and that sort of thing. But what's really beautiful is Mobridge sits up on a bluff above the Missouri. The space below was the train yard, and the train yard is gone now. So now Mobridge, which once never really faced the river because between the river and it were rail yards, now they can wheel around and begin to build their main street down to the waterfront. We're taking all the first year students. Each student's going to be assigned a building to study and to draw and to model and to work through. The students are going to help the community see what awesome building stock they have, what, what wonderful buildings they've, they've got there, how their main street lays out. And just by giving Mobridge some attention, We'll then come back in with faculty and experts and really build in what we can do uh, for Mobridge or what Mobridge can do for itself, really. There's only 128 schools of architecture in the U.S. Of the schools around us, all of them are 100 years old. So to get to start the first school of architecture in this region in 100 years is a, is a huge honor and a great, great opportunity. There's a huge need for these students. By the time this first class is graduated and licensed, 75% of the architects that are currently practicing in the state will be a retirement age. The student has to have curiosity above all else. The other groups on campus often make fun of architecture because the lights seem to never go off in the building. It takes a lot of focus dedication to figure out how to do it. It's not that the making a building is hard, learning how to make a building is hard. We have to have students that dream very large because everything we think of hasn't been done before. 